three birthdays. Um, I have three living and one that has passed on. Okay. Um, it was slim pickets for today. Um, Arsenio Hall. Mm. You can't guess I'm what not you saw this morning. It's got to be an Eddie Murphy age group. Uh huh. So Arsenio Hall was actually born today. The okay. other two people were born yesterday. Uh, just think of that long finger. See how the inches. <laughs> I'm thinking about them inches on that finger. I'm gonna say he's 55. Wow. I'm gonna say 55. Okay. Six. Coach. 60. 60. Question. You want to get in on it? Uh, I'll say 56. 54. I mean, uh, Arsenio Hall. Hall. He was Ooh. born in 1955. Yes, yes, yes. Can you believe that? Man, he don't look his age. He does not. Oh, well, you know, black don't pray. Boy, that's a Photoshop picture. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> except for the finger. <laughs> right. That, that okay. has aged. Yeah, the finger has aged. The next one on the list is Kelly Rowland. She was born yesterday on mm. the 11th. I don't think you can guess that one either because you saw that. No, I, no, I didn't see that yesterday. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I forgot it. <laughs> Kelly Rowland from yeah. Destiny's Child, and now she's solo. Oh, I remember. And uh, I'll be talking about her a little bit later in the show on because uh, she's in a in the TV series. They're in my age range. <coughs> Who are you, you born? Destiny's Child group, so I'm gonna say I'm probably older than she is, but not by much. Let's say she's thirty-six. 36, okay. I'm going to say she's 34. 34? I remember it. You did remember it? Yes, I'm not going to say joke. Quest? Uh, 35. 35. Y'all giving us a good vibe. She's 38. Oh, so she, okay. She was born in 1981. Ooh. I made her too young. On the yeah, market now, huh? Yeah, mm. and another one born in that era, Brandy. Oh, I don't know. Brandy was also born yesterday. Brandy's much younger than her, though. No, she's not. You don't think so? Brandy's... Brandy's probably exactly my age, if not older. I'm gonna say she's forty. Okay. Mm. Vanessa. Moesha. Hmm. Moesha. Mm-hmm. But she didn't start out with Moesha. She started with uh, uh, Mama's fan. Uh, uh, Mama's no, no, fan. She, no, no. She started out with. Right? No, Thel- no, not Mama's right. family. She started out with Thelma's. Started with the Thelma. The uh, Thelma's family. Started out with them. Yeah. She started I out with. Show you talking about. Yeah, yeah. She started out with an old family. It's, it's a remake of Mama's Family. I don't know what it is. Anyway, Professor. <laughs> Not Family Matters. No, no, no. no. no she wasn't on Older Family than Matters. that, though. A remake of Mama's Was it the Parkers? No, yeah. older than that. A lot older than oh, that. I don't know. I wasn't a big, you know. This I liked was, her music. I didn't like her act. This was an 80s, like 87, 88. I'm so, so she's 42. 42, all right. My age. Yeah, oh, I think I'm going to go about 43. 43 Quest? 45. Boy, y'all did her dirty. She's 40. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and dirty. on the 14th, February 14th, Gregory Hines Ooh, was born. Wow. Gregory Hines, the tap dancing king. He was in the, uh, what they call the Brothers Hines. Yeah, he had a couple albums. Um, and he did that with uh, um, Luke, Luke Vandross. I'm not yeah. sure about that one. But he, he was in the Cotton Club. Yeah. And he was in that uh, movie with... with Sam and uh, Jam, 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 Sam can Jam. I get it out? Okay, <laughs> he was in the movie with Barishnikov, the ballet dancer. You remember that movie, White Nights, I believe? It was oh, called. yeah, I remember that. Uh, and he was also in the movie with Sam Davis Jr. Yes, he was. So anybody want to guess? He passed away in 2003. Oh, man. What, ooh, what would he do? I believe he had cancer. I didn't see what he passed Probably on. 63. He would what, have been. What, 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 what he would have been today? Yeah, yeah what he oh, would have been today. I'm saying, I'm saying 63. Today? Yeah, he was 50. He was probably 50 something when he passed away. 2003? He passed away in 2003. But his birthday was February 14th. 68. 68. 68. Yeah. West? Nothing better than love. Yeah, that was with, okay, 73. He would have been 73. He died when he was 57. Okay. Yep, yep, sadly. All right, let's get to to this uh, hot news here. Or, or, yeah, hot news, and then we'll go over what we got going on today. You got some hot news? Yeah, I got two things going on. What hot news you got? Uh, did Did you guys see that Russell Westbrook broke 
uh, was it? Uh, uh, Will, uh, Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain's record. What? Or ten consecutive triple doubles. Ten consecutive. Ten consecutive. And then uh, James Harden is, is on is on a creeper. Uh, He's creeping. Is it thirty eight game? Is wow. Thirty straight. Thirty straight games game. or thirty point games. Mm -hmm. Mm. And he was so crazy about it. He buried his head last night. He almost lost against yeah, the Mavericks. Yeah, they kept him in. They kept him in just so he can hit that shot. Because he <laughs> only had 11 points at halftime. Mm -hmm. I, I think the record, he's got a long way to go to reach the record. Uh, yeah, yeah. Champion, but huh. he's, he's, I think he's, the video went up. Nice. Still should be all right. Oh, Those are impressive feats. Okay. That's, 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 they really are. But I love Michael good. Jordan's quote when I they asked him about it. Did y'all hear about that? What did he say? They asked Michael, um, is it more difficult to have 10 straight triple doubles or have 30 straight 30 point games, he said, well, it's more difficult to get six rings. There you go. <laughs> that was his response. <laughs> there you go. That's my kind of response, because he said, okay, that's mm -hmm. great. Those individual stats are so, terrific, but mm -hmm. I so got this. Right, 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 right. I'm looking at this, so <laughs> piggybacking on what he said. Harden is at 31. He can tie Will Chamberlain in his next game. Will is at 31. This can't be right. That was more than that. Okay, I'm sorry. 65. Yeah, like yeah. Well, consecutive games of 30 plus. Oh, yeah, he got a long way to go. Yeah. He has a long way to go. I don't know. But, but then they talk about. Okay. Not enough games in the season. But then they talk about the greatest of all time. Why ain't Will Chamberlain in that uh, right. conversation? Him and nobody else. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, you he, know he's he scoring. He's going. To, oh yeah, he's, he's got he rings. He doesn't have six. No, he doesn't. Have, he's got three. Doesn't he? I think he got you're going to fight, he's not but you're going up against time. Bill. You get going against Bill Russell. Come on now. One player, one game. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. He holds the record for most forty point games in a row with fourteen. So we'll think, we'll thirty and four. Forty. Yeah, and he's the only player to score hundred points in one game. Yeah, Kobe. Come on now. 80. Okay, so. 81. 81, I'm sorry. Oh, not to mention, he no, also we got to get that one out. At least the NBA <laughs> and most 50 point games in a row at seven. Will change. So he got records for 30, 40, 40 and, and 50. 50. He's a, he's a he wasn't playing nobody, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, let's see here. So now we got college roundup coming up. Uh, so is the college football transfer rule turning college football into free agency? Um, at seven forty, seven fifty-five, we got four quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, seven from eight to eight fifty-five, we have entertainment hour. Uh, the entertainment hour part one is Lil Bow Wow versus girlfriend, elevator video, and nine one one call. Versus nine one one call. Versus nine one one call. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Grammy Award highlights, TV series show Soul Train, American Soul, which is Soul Train. You see that? Different voice. Which comes on tonight? Uh, he say part. she say part two. He say she say is the Valentine is Valentine's overrated? overrated why or why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So from nine to nine fifteen, we have the mock draft, including Calamari decision, which came down yesterday. Was yes, yes, yes. yes. And then uh, nine twenty to nine thirty five is can Luka Doncic carry the Mavericks to the eighth and final playoff spot? Can I answer that now? I gotta wait. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta wait. wait. All right. <laughs> Follow the instructions. Final thoughts, announcements, previews of next week's show, and that is our wrap up. Let's go ahead and get into our roundup. Yeah. With the coach. All right. Well, let's get started. You know, I thought about this question because I'm noticing all the transferring is taking place. It's, it's, mm. To me, it's a hot. It's, it's at a hot mess. Time hot. I've mm. never seen it to this level. Uh, and what? you know, tipped it over for me was when I saw that uh, Justin Fields was allowed to play immediately at Ohio State. Uh -huh. And the reason I have an issue with that is because he's not a graduate transfer. Normally when you get to play right away, you're a graduate transfer. Mm -hmm. Now they've made this, you know, I guess this special rule mm -hmm. so this young five-star recruit, uh, recruit can play right away at Ohio State. And I'm thinking, is this about to become a trend? Because I read an article here that says the, uh, the new rules state that a player can be granted a waiver to play right away mm -hmm. if he can show documented mitigation circumstances that the change of schools was made uh, to better impact his health, safety, and well-being. Now, I don't remember reading anything about his safety or his well-being well -being 
or anything happening right. in Georgia. Okay, so I would love to know or read the document that he gave the NCAA <coughs> where they felt like, okay, yes, you can go ahead and play right away at Ohio State. This has the makings of a big time university, mm -hmm. getting a big time recruit, mm -hmm. and college football want Ohio State back in this mix, want them to right, stay right, in the mix, right, right. and don't want them to fall off after Dwayne Haskins decided he's going to come pro. And you're seeing it a lot. You know, Oklahoma just had another top recruit, top recruit on the side. He yeah. wanted to transfer Ron Tatum to defensive end, and now he's trying to see he can get a waiver as well to play right away, and he's just a sophomore. Right. So that, that brought me to the question, is this turning into free agency? I would okay, say. Okay, I can't play right away, so I'm, 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 go out, somewhere. I'm out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. And, and the other thing about that is we're not talking contracts either. Right. It's just, right. okay, I'm, I, I can meet some of these uh, circumstances, so I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You know, And I, I think, number one, it's going to water down uh, college football. Your, 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 your big school is going to always be there. This is going to create to where all these big schools become a dynasty. Yeah. It's gonna be lopsided. Yeah, it's gonna be huge. I mean, so so when you're, you're uh, so the question is, does a Texas get one of those waivers, or uh, uh, does a Miami, Miami get one of those waivers? You know. When did the NCAA tra uh, transfer start? When did they start? They've doing always that? had. They've always had. They've always, always had the rule, but, but they, not to this extent, though. Yeah, they've tweaked it here and there to benefit the, the kids mm -hmm. in some cases because you know the coaches promise the kids everything. But right. let's be honest. But when they transfer, don't they have to sit out for one semester? They're supposed, they're supposed to. to. They're supposed to. A whole season. That's what I thought. Honestly, a full oh, a whole season. season. Yes, yeah. Full yeah. Season. They're like they're red shirt. Right. They transfer oh, as a red wow. shirt, so to speak. Okay. But it is like, it, it is, they didn't start with the coaches first. Because remember, coaches sign with, with, with teams, and the next thing you know, t another team could take that coach away, and now all the recruiting that that coach did, the players are playing for that coach. And that's what started this. Mm -hmm. That's what started the, the, the kids complaining. Saying, about, hey, right. I committed to play under this coach. Right. And then the uh, NCAA's comeback was, no, you committed to the play school. school. We all know that's not right. Right, right. You right. for the coach. This, this well, I know from my son going house. to college, he went in talking to a coach. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you do. he formed a relationship exactly. with. Exactly. And then if that coach was to get up and leave, he'd exactly. probably try to go. I want to try to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or go somewhere else. Go somewhere else, else mm -hmm. and form another relationship. That's the whole thing with, with football is you form relationships. That's like your mentor, exactly you know. Right. And so when you change midstream, that kind of messes up your because flow, a lot your of motivation. Times, a lot of times those coaches have been recruiting you since you were exactly. a freshman. Sometimes yeah. you're in the eighth exactly. grade. Yeah, yeah. If you're, exactly. if you're Harbaugh out of Michigan, he's right. giving right. people scholarships in the second grade. <laughs> right, right, right. But, so, you know, you form that relationship. But, but uh, I mean, for the NCAA, I mean, but the NCAA has always been trying, even not, not just in football and basketball too, they've always been trying to get those, those, those power teams, you know, to stay power teams. Well, it's a competition. You know, I, but still, it's, I, it's I, competitive I, sports. Yeah, but I, I think you water. I think you water down the sport in the college in the college arena. I've always it's thought across the board. Yeah, I've always thought the NCAA in the in basketball. I mean, none. And we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. None of those players are top a, a top ten players that are on that are <laughs> go to the Sweet Sixteens or uh, Final Fours. We got none of them are, are, are top ten players. You know. Well, in, co in college football. You can't water it down because the big dogs are always the big dogs. Don't be the big right. dogs. It's right. the same scenario every year. Every, every year. Look at next year's <laughs> preseason top ten. It's the same. But do you want to see that every single year? Yes. Yes. I know you do because <laughs> oh, oh, you is in there. Yes, we do. I like the cream of the crop being at the top. Well, but what, if the, cream, the but what if the cream of the crop is made I up? I agree. What it's, if made up. What, it's got to be made up when you got when you. Well, I want to go over there. Well, Jay well, but just think about it. In later. college, you have so many to choose from. Well, guess what? Um, if you want to go, it's not like the NFL and the NBA where you have certain amount of teams and you can watch everything. Yeah. You can't watch everything in college football. It will drive you crazy. But if you want to go to Ohio State in the beginning, go to Ohio State. Well, well I, I do. Want to go I do believe that. Well, now you want to go. To, why is it now you all of a sudden because want to go there? he's in a situation where he knows he's not going to see the field for another two years because they have a quarterback in place. That means he's a junior, and he only has two years of that. I'm sorry, you can't be that well, I think I think the one thing is that, no. remember when they're going to college, you're supposed to be going to college for academics. Oh, who cares about academics? Hey, we got too many to players. Because there's too many players that do not get into that, that, the NFL or the NBA. I'm and, sorry. and knowing that you talk to anybody in Auburn. I know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you different. <laughs> 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 
Let's talk to anybody in Auburn. Look, you need to know how to count your money if you get to the No, you don't. The agent has that money to do that. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't because you might not be able to trust them folks. You and see all these people out here on the streets I'm now. I'm in complete agreement with that, but that's just but not that's, real. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's just uh, pie in the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pie. There's too many girls that know how to take tests for somebody. And now, if you're, if you're a big time, and to security's <laughs> point, and she says a bunch of colleges out there, and she's right, but if you're a four or five star recruit, you're not, all due respect to SMU, you're not interested in going to SMU. You're not. Right, right. Because you're going to play in front of 15,000 people, yeah. 20,000 people. <laughs> they're back. Like that, they're yeah, back. Yeah. You want to go where you're on television every week, mm -hmm. where you got a chance to play in the playoff or a major bowl game in front of 80,000 people. So then, Do you think Beasley knew somebody who knew somebody? No, who Beasley, 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 Beasley wasn't getting on, on. Yeah, Beasley, Beasley wasn't getting on anybody else's field. That's what, but I, that's Beasley what I'm saying. Beasley. He knew somebody that knew somebody that got him on the Cowboys because... No, I mean, no. he's good, but coming drafted. from SMU, Beasley wasn't drafted. But still, he was—he just—he was, he was he walking. Just walked on. On. Yeah, okay. yeah. So okay. he was okay. walking. So they—they they let you walk on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But every, every school can produce a think. good player. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my thing is right here. Now you got to look at those. You got to look at the ads in these colleges and say, okay, now we need to beef up our security, our, our recruits. Because if these big colleges are getting these big players, then I need some coaches here. That means you're gonna not find, only that, it's the money. That means you're gonna find <laughs> coaches now with at these small colleges get, making some serious dollars that can recruit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not, you're not gonna show get, me no matter money. how good. I'll give you a good example. Les Miles, big time coach, took right, over right. at Kansas. Right. He will not do anything with Kansas. The best they'll do is seven and five, uh -huh. six and six, if that. And he'll be fired in four years. Yeah, but here's, here's the thing. If you bring a name like Les Miles to a SMU, it gives you better recruits. Well, you, you, well I'm talking about just Kansas. Kansas. He's in a Power 5 conference, and I promise you, he won't do anything. I understand that, but all I'm saying is you bring some names. you got to see, see the, the, the school. The college has got to start rolling out some dollars. Uh -huh. And they roll out the That's dollars. That's what I said, the money. they got to roll out the dollars to these coaches that got these names. So then that they can recruit based mm -hmm. off of their name mm -hmm. and then promise the college I'm not going nowhere. When it boils down to it, it's, it's money. At the end of the day, it's money. still Kansas. I'll give you another good example. Uh, the North Texas offensive coordinator who left North Texas for USC. Uh, 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 <laughs> I can't, for, top for the life of me, I can't remember his name. But he, he just left mm -hmm. and he hadn't been there that long. The minute North Texas improves and just a little there. bit, his name is hot. I'm out of here. And that's fine. And I'm with him. I'm leaving. Yeah, that, that's fine. But guess what, though? Guess what? He's the, he's the offensive coordinator. Right. <laughs> I'm talking about the coach. The coach itself, yeah. Because guess what? We're trying to figure out what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the well, coach. Well, North Texas, and they're never on television. And North Texas, you know, the only time they get on television is when they uh, inducted Mean Joe Green and gave him a statue. <laughs> this, this, Although, I, I like that part right there. They gave him a statue. <laughs> This trend's not going to change. It's going to get worse. It's not. It Every is. time a big university loses a top quarterback and they don't know what's next, if you have a graduate transfer or big time third string or second string quarterback at a UT, a USC, mm -hmm. Florida, whatever, they're going to go to another power school. There was no way Jalen Hurts was going to go anywhere other than a top ten. A top ten school. Yeah. There was no way. It'd be a waste of time. Do we think this started with? Um Let's say a, all three, all the quarterbacks that were at Texas A and M at one point, uh, who they had A and M had three top recruits. Had Colin Murray. Had Colin Murray, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Baker Mayfield was at, uh, was at Texas Tech. Tech, yeah. Um, they had three top recruits. Uh, <laughs> Graham Harrell. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. who you saw him about. Graham Harrell. Oh, the one Texas. Left. And, and you would see, yeah, 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 Graham Harrell. Is that him? Yes. Okay. I, think so. I heard his name circling. I just wasn't sure if that was who you was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But did it start with that when Texas, when Texas A&M lost all those three, three recruits? Uh, I mean, because that's when that trend started. You got quarterback jumping all over the place because they lost their three recruits. And then Baker Mayfield goes over to o, o, uh, OU. Mm -hmm. uh, Colin Mary goes over to OU after Baker Mayfield leaves. Cause, Such because, a hater. because actually, no, no, I'm just saying the, the, the trend of quarterbacks jumping, because that's when it all starts. Mm -hmm. The trend of quarterbacks jumping, because once you see quarterbacks jumping, then everybody else is jumping. Well, a lot of these people, you know, and I'll give, use Kyle Murray for an example. Oklahoma was in his top two schools. The final two was A&M and OU. Right. He chose A&M because he thought he had a better chance to play right away. 
uh, not knowing, because Kevin Sumlin probably told him, I'm not going to recruit anybody else. Lied to right. him. And because Manziel was there too, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, Johnny, you had the thrill, Kenny the thrill hill. Uh huh. Kenny the thrill hill. Yeah. They went to TCU and they transferred. Transfer. Yeah, they had three top recruits. So they had all of them there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Kyle Murray's like, look, man, you told me <coughs> I'm going to play. I didn't lose in high school. Right, right. Do you know who I am? Right. And you're not going to give me a chance? Sorry, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going over to OU. But he only went to OU knowing that Baker Mayfield maybe only had one more year. Exactly. So he's got one year I know him in. Right. And he still could have came back, Colin Murray. He still had eligibility enough. But like any smart kid, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Smart. All right. So that's the college roundup for this all week. All right, all right. That is the college are we still on college roundup or are we still on we still on we college got roundup? We got four people. Oh, I got a few more? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll yeah. transition into a little college basketball then. Uh over the weekend I watched Duke and uh, Virginia play. Duke? Two top five teams. And mm-hmm. the only reason like everybody else I watch Duke is because of Zion. Mm-hmm. I want to keep an eye on him because I mentioned a week ago that I'd be very careful about drafting him. Mm-hmm. But, oh. Why? I don't know if y'all saw the highlight. This okay. guy had a shot block where it looked like he flew <laughs> literally from the free throw line to the three point line to block this guy's shot. What? I've never seen a player jump so high oh, I, that I can that. remember offhand in my life. I don't probably have. I'm, I'm sure Vince Carter did something crazy before. <laughs> hey, Jordan, I'm sorry. But, but that was ridiculous. He took flight, huh? This man is so big. He is. And, and, and when you watch him, you're just like, how? What are his stats? How? He's 21 points, eight and a half rebounds. He blocks a shot and a half a game. He's not a very good <laughs> defender, though. Right. Um, when you said shot and a half a game, be that big. Well, he's not tall. He's only like 6'7". What but is he? Uh, he has power power forward, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. And he's, in the NBA, he'll probably he's be a be, four. Yeah, but, he's, but, but in the NBA, he's going to play out and not in. Well, he's going to have to play in because he can't shoot. Well, see, the problem, the problem is on defense, he's going to go out. They're going to drag him outside. He's a 29% three-point shooter in college. Yeah, and I'm telling you, on defense, they're going to drag him outside and say, now you got, now you got to stop me from outside. Well, his defense, if he, if he doesn't play good defense, he's going to suffer in that area. Well, the Knicks are trying to tank on purpose so they can get him. <laughs> See, and that's why the Knicks will always so be sorry. Crazy. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's why they're always going to be sorry. Sorry. And Dang. who would want to play for – I know we're not in basketball talk, but what, what college team player wants to go to the Knicks? Well, it's still the Mecca. I would go to the Knicks in a minute. It's the Knicks. Man, they sorry, the though. The Knicks, the Celtics, They might not the be Lakers. sorry when they get there. Okay, I, 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 I might mean, make him not sorry. No, the well, Knicks, not gonna turn the Knicks have been sorry for so long. I'm saying you might have enough confidence. The you Knicks, know, the, Knicks the, team, the Knicks is a team that said, let's let, let's let Isaiah Thomas come coach with us for us. <laughs> let's bring Jason Kidd on the coach oh, with us. Oh my goodness! You know, well, bringing Isaiah Thomas on is not a bad idea. It is Isaiah Thomas. It just didn't turn out. It didn't turn out. <laughs> and where's Isaiah now? <laughs> exactly. Count his millions. Over there with over there with Avery Johnson. <laughs> Avery's oh, he's doing pretty good. Though. I like Avery. <laughs> Avery's doing pretty good though. Yeah. Alabama's not doing that good this year, but I like Avery. He can't recruit there. That's the football school. Right, right. Yeah, and he should have yeah. never taken that job. Yeah, you go to you go to a, you go to a smaller school that had an opportunity to get into the to the to the dance. Well, like Kelvin Sampson, who went to Houston. Yeah, and the Cougars are twenty-one and two and in the top fifteen. Right. Yeah, now. yeah. That's what, and, and that's the beauty I like about college is that they don't look at where you play; they look at what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 unless you are HBCU, if you're at HBCU, you gon' you gonna get one spot, and that's spot number sixty-four. I like HBCU, HBCU teams. Most Those HBCUs will get six, one spot, sixty-four, and that they gotta play for that spot. <laughs> you gotta fight all all HBCUs will have to fight for the sixty-four spot, yeah. and they're not fighting against their own players; they're fighting against other schools that are not HBCUs. Mm. I would love to see an HBCU just get in and say, okay, we're going to run this. And we're getting down to the nitty-gritty in college basketball, too. Yes. The cream of the crop is starting to separate themselves. The NCAA tournament is right around the corner. March Madness. March Madness. Madness. I can't oh, wait for yeah. March Madness. Even though my Oklahoma Sooners won't be in the tournament because Ron uh, Kruger needs to be fired because he doesn't know Duke. what he's doing. Duke. Yeah. See, and I, have, I still don't understand her. I don't know. I like 
Duke. Pull those two Duke. together and say, I Duke, like Duke. I have always liked Duke. I'm sorry. I, I like Duke. About that. In St. John's, I know y'all laugh at me, but I like St. When I was little, St. John's was my backup team. Well, I always have a backup team. Actually, St. John's was good. <laughs> I know it was. In the 80s. I still like St. John's was good in the 80s. I mean, and I like Stanford. I'm going to throw this out there uh, for attend. y'all real quick. Uh, before the tournament started, we do our picks. Keep an eye on the little school called Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, they're the what's the one that was last year, uh, Professor? What was it Gonzaga? What was no, no, it? not Gonzaga. No, no, not Gonzaga. What was the, the one that came through? The the was like, where did like that. they come from? Who was that? The U N M something. Yeah, it was like a whole that. bunch of initials. It was a Methodist name or something like that. Uh, there was a church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was U M N. There was a the it name was of Methodist. Name. I was like, where did they come from? It was taking folks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every year, March Madness. Madness. I yes, love Madness. It. Madness. Yeah, yeah. Look for the teams that are in a tournament that are, have a bunch of seniors mm -hmm. and have played together because for three, they played exactly because yeah. they know how to play yeah. together. Mm -hmm. oh, we need Trust to me, that. and they shoot the ball really well. Well, well are you giving uh, your? Are you giving? That needs to be next week. Well, are you because I can write this down now. Yeah. Write it down right now. <laughs> Just something to keep an eye on as we get closer. You know, What's we it? are halfway through February. Buffalo. 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 Okay, I'm gonna keep a lookout. Yeah. I gotta get back into college fast. And, and, and I guarantee you, let's say Buffalo go, makes it to the final four, none of them will go to the top. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not, none not of them. them. None of, matter of fact, they may even go in the first round. Now, you remember when George Mason got to the final four? They were beating everybody. Right, right. They never heard of them. And remember when UCLA, UCLA got to the final four uh, with uh, who were those brothers they had? Tom, the O'Bannons? Yeah, the O'Bannons. Ed O'Bannon and uh, uh, we get the other one. I'm not a fan of Ed O'Bannon, and y'all can laugh at me all you want to because he's the reason they don't make the college football game anymore on the video game system. Yes, you're right. Oh, yeah, wow, because really? yeah, yeah, I don't because like him at all. Because he sued, he sued uh, uh, the video system for using his likeness for for his well, number. You know, a lot of for his number, yeah, yeah. Remember we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Alfonso Rivera was suing him because of his his dance. Uh, well then. Yeah, well, then that, 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 means that, 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 means, that means that means that Eddie Murphy and somebody who stole it with needs, needs their money too. He perfected the dance. It, it is his signature dance. All right. If they weren't making any money, he wouldn't even care. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, coming up next, we okay. have.